The counter canter is an exercise that shows if the horse is in balance in the canter. It's an exercise that starts at LA level. It is an advantage to perform this exercise with a horse that lacks balance in the canter, but it also helps improve the strength and suppleness of the horse. And now we will see this horse perform um, a counter canter. And we now change the direction. This horse is educated and has performed many counter canters. When we do counter canters, we try to variate the speed so that we can ride faster and slower as we please, uh, so that the horse doesn't get too passive in the counter canter. With younger horses, we either ride a small serpentine and try to make the horse keep the canter, or we do a circle incline back to the track and do the counter canter on the last bit of the long side. Here, when we perform the counter canter, you can also position the neck from right to left to assure that the horse is relaxed. And also move the hindquarters a little bit from the right to the left. But everything, all this is easiest on a horse that has learned uh, to find its balance and uh, the strength to do the counter canter. I believe that no horse is getting too old or too good to do the counter canter. It's an exercise that is an advantage to perform on any horse. In the LA dressage programs you see this exercise followed by either a transition into trot or walk, hereafter a canter depart into the correct canter. In the MB classes you see this exercise on a curved track followed by a flying change. Here you can see that the horse is getting a little bit short in the counter canter. We can improve this by uh, riding a little bit more forward. The horse had its attention somewhere else for a moment. And now he can ride forward again. And it keeps the suspension. You can perform counter canter in many ways, but all in all an exercise that uh, improves the obedience of the horse and the balance uh, in the canter. And now when he reaches out to the long side, he will ride forward to assure that the horse keeps seeking forward. This way it will also be easier to make the transition, because the horse is more alert and attentive to what we ask of it when it is forward going. If it is waiting all the time, it is difficult to make it go into trot. With the younger horse, once again, it is an advantage to ride big uh, serpentines in counter canter. With a young horse, it will of course perhaps be a little stiff in the beginning, and perhaps it will fall into trot, but it is important not to punish it for falling into trot. Performing the counter canter, it is important that you give the aid correctly um, following the lead of the canter that you with your weight fall into the, the lead, in this case the, the left lead, and that you support with the outer leg, in this case the right leg, so that the horse is in no doubt of what it should do. And here a control that the horse was alert, and here he supports a little bit with the left leg to the back, and he sits a little bit forward to the right side. It is obvious that if the rider now falls into the left side, the horse will also seek to the, to the left side and it will become unnatural for it to perform the counter canter. <laughs>